What up, people of YouTube? So, is this a, is this the video of shame, or? No, I don't reckon it is, I reckon what this is, this is a sensible uh, update to the clutch inhibitor starter switch that I put up the other day saying about how these get dirty and corroded and they stop working so you can't start the bike unless it's in neutral. Right, well we all know that um, just because you've got the money to buy something it doesn't mean you've got the brains to operate it. So they build in all these stupid little, there used to be one there, safety devices because most people really don't know what the hell they're doing. Um, one of those annoying things is this stupid switch that stops you starting the biking gear unless you've got the clutch pulled in. Well, if you ride Enduro, you're going to find yourself quite often stalled on a really steep hill like that. And uh, the only way you can pull away is with the bike in gear and the clutch virtually biting as you start the bike because your right foot is probably holding the bike up in a trench and you can't get your foot on the rear brake. So you don't want to be faffing around trying to hold it on the front and rear brake. You just want to start it in gear with the clutch dragging and away you go. If you can ride, you know what I'm trying to say. So you can't do that if you've got a bloody stop, put it into neutral, then start it, then try and put it into gear because you've got to use your foot and your foot might be holding you from falling over the side of a cliff or something. We all know what I'm trying to say. So this piece of crap here is what's holding up the proceedings. Well, I fixed it for the fourth time the other day and I promptly dipped the thing in a river and it packed up again. So I've had enough of it now. Bollocks to it. I'm going to bridge it out. So basically you've got two can you see? Very tiny, very tiny plugs in there. And how I did it on the trail was I carry a piece of wire with two car speaker sized spades on there. They're really tiny, they're smaller than standard size. There's a standard one that I've opened up. Can you see? They are tiny, so we're going to have to make, well, you could just cut the ends off and join the wire together really but I don't like butchering up stuff I like to try and do it so it's reversible so what I'm gonna do is I've taken two of these females I am now going to change their gender they're going to be reassigned as males and to do that hopefully It's not going to take a load of bloody hormone tablets and stuff. It's just going to have to uh, give them a good squeeze. Oh, while right, we're here, we want a bit of wire now to make the loop. So there's a bit of wire. Right now, hopefully these are going to be the right size to fit in the females. Get in you bad boy, right, okay, so I just want to get some fresh wire. I am, like I said before, I'm really struggling now with any kind of feeling in my left hand. Thankfully, I've still got these two, but even they're suffering. Yeah, it's affecting me, the ability, my ability to hold on to anything, really. It's a damn good job I'm right-handed, isn't it? Or I could be in trouble. <clears throat> right. And, uh, no, I don't have a proper set of crimps. Because I'm living in the third world. And we got to use whatever we can use. Which is more educational for you lot because it means that if you're in the same situation you can use whatever you can use so we've jammed them on there now got to, I can't I see I just, I just got nothing there's nothing there I can't feel that I 
Is that in there or not? It looked like it was in there. No, oh, it did seem like it was in there first time actually. Right, okay, that's one. Um, so there you go, it's bridged out. It will now, he says, start. <laughs> it will now start in here. All you've got to do is be intelligent enough to realise that you've got to pull the clutch in before you do it. So, we will put a bit of tape some black on there put a bit of tape on that tape it up and there's another little tweak done so I'll just tape that up hide it underneath the loom there out the way and um, start doing some more repairs ready for this weekend see ya Why doesn't that so this won't turn off? Why won't this turn off when you press the bloody video button? What's wrong with it? <laughs>